What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Saint Seiya Awakening. In today's video, we're going to be doing a daily grind review. Now, I know some of you guys out there sarcastically are asking, FG, what the heck is the daily grind review? Because it's been quite a long time since we've seen an episode in this series. Well, number one, you're right. Number two, don't have a number two, but number three, for the people that are not asking in a sarcastic fashion, the Daily Grind Review is where we go through a hero collector, we play through the dailies, that way I can give you guys an idea of what it's like to play this game on a day-to-day -day basis, because we all know when it comes to playing a hero collector, one of the most important factors are the dailies, the overall gameplay loop. It doesn't matter how fun a game is, if it's boring or kind of tedious to play every single day, you're not gonna play it. So, welcome to the Daily Grind Review. Let's go ahead and get started from the top, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so this in my opinion is going to be kind of your daily goal if you play this game you want to do just enough dailies at the very minimum to get the free cash shop currency at the end of course there's more gameplay to do outside of this but if you had a day and you only had just enough time to get your dailies done this would be your goal so we're going to do something that actually has combat just in case you guys have not seen combat in this game in quite a while Saint Seiya Awakening, Knights of the Zodiac. That's actually the full title. Didn't get the whole title in my intro, but don't you worry about that. <laughs> so Saint Seiya, now this game in China is an absolute blockbuster. It is like printing money out there. Let's go ahead and get the battle going. Here's my squad. Um, but here in Global, it's not doing terrible, but it's it's by far nowhere near how successful it is in China. And I, I, I would have to think that the publishers that brought this game over are, are really surprised. Maybe they're not surprised, or maybe they are. I don't know. But they, they have to be a little perplexed on a game that literally prints money in one region, and then it doesn't catch fire in another region. I know people have to be really kind of surprised on that, because I bet you some people were sitting around the boardroom, and they're like, you know what? If this game just does a third of what it does in China, we're going to be filthy rich. Didn't happen. <laughs> and I have to I have to imagine, just because this IP is just not huge in the States, um, I don't know too much about it at all. I know they have like some new, I think that like, don't they have like a new Netflix series or something like that? So maybe it's going to be bigger later on. But when this game came out, this is just not a huge IP in the West. So um, as good as the game is, and I did actually give it some pretty positive marks when I first reviewed it, it just doesn't have that IP, that grab, that's going to get people to download um, full term. When they see something like this and they don't recognize it, I kind of have to imagine that a lot of people just skip it and move on to something else that they actually recognize. So that's just my, my thought process when it comes to that, especially considering that a lot of these characters are very like, it's like these type of character designs, while I think they look decent, or a kind of like a character design that you're either really gonna love or not be attracted to at all. Come on, you're gonna do a tutorial right here? No, you're not. <laughs> There's actually a, a lot of really bizarre voice acting as well, but <laughs> don't worry about that. Um, so Youthful Vigor, that's really easy. You know how these games are. Buy some stamina, done and done. Got ourselves some account EXP. Um, Arena, yeah, let's jump, uh, jump over to Arena so we can get an idea of a few of the other character designs here. This guy has a little raven here. We got this, uh, who do I, there's so many characters that have like, like roses and are very like soft. I was going to say Zarbon, <laughs> um, but it also could be Shu from a uh, Tokyo Ghoul, something like that. There you go. And this guy, what kind of weapon is this? I want to fight this guy. Whoever this person is. I don't know what that weapon is, but it's your pretty typical arena. You versus the AI. One thing I did really enjoy about this game is the fact... Ah, oh, man, my team isn't set up. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I got, I got a spot for one more. Oh, you have to be level 18 to have a full team in PvP? That's really strange. So there are certain level caps. Like, in the story, I can use a full team. But I guess in PvP, I got to be level 18 to have a full team here. So I'm about to get spanked. <laughs> times four, all right. Nope, times three. Times three is the speed here, but that's plenty fast, as you guys can see. I'm actually doing pretty decent. I'm actually doing pretty decent. So this must be a person that played this game and then just, like, quit and didn't keep their team powered up because I powered these guys up just quite a bit before I recorded this video here. Um, I'm on server two, which normally is a death sentence. Like, this is going to be one of those... I think this game has hundreds of servers. I'll double check real quick, but I'm pretty sure this game has, like... 400 servers right now um and luckily luckily 
And I, I always say that I hate games that have massive servers like this. Luckily, this game, pretty much everything that matters is cross-server. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Can I? Is there a way that I can show you like the server listing? Probably not. All right, I totally overshot how many servers are in this game. So there is 76 servers currently in the game. Um, but like I said, luckily for this title, um, pretty much everything in the game is cross server. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but I'm, I'm all about the team of just having a global server for you know US, global server for EU, that type of thing. Um, but there you go, here I am on server two, holding it down. <laughs> So let's go ahead and jump back into the game, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see how fast the loading times are from the start screen to the actual game. Boom. There you go. All right. Moving on. Let's see what else we got here. Um, upgrade a saint. That's actually really, really easy to do. Um, we'll take this quick opportunity to kind of take a look at which saints I have access to. There are a few of the characters here. And like I said, this is like the type of character design. That's a book. That's the, the type of character design that I feel like it's going to be very hit or miss. And it's mostly hit for people that kind of grew up with this franchise. I'm sure they're looking at these like, oh my God, I love these characters. I grew up with these characters. But for people that might not be a fan of the series and they're just looking at the characters from a total like completely virginized eyes, ladies and gentlemen, they look they look a little samey. It's kind of really hard to to get super excited over these characters when you don't really know too much about them. Um, but there you go, a few of my characters here. I'm supposed to be upgrading one of them, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Gain three levels, nice quick button touch. We're done, daily complete. Ladies and gentlemen, got ourselves some EXP potion to replace the ones I use. I like it when games do that. Give away five hearts, I absolutely will. There you go, guys. There you go, one button touch. Easily to kind of interact with your friends there. That's pretty straightforward. Make a gold purchase. You know how these games are. Give them some cash up currency. They're going to give you some gold in it, um, in exchange. We're not going to do the other um, two arena fights there. Um, let's see. Do I want to go ahead and give aid to some of my guild mates here? I don't even know. I want... Um, so this is one of those things where you ask for something. Um, you ask for shards for specific characters. that You can give away shards to other people. But I don't even know... If I have any extra shards to give to anyone. Those are the only people, huh? Ah, come on. I'm useless. Don't worry. I'm going to do some summon a little bit later, guild. I'll be back. And I'll help you guys out. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any shards for any of those people there, unfortunately. So we're going to have to do something else. And this is the cool thing about the systems like this. You don't have to do all the dailies. You just have to do enough dailies to get the uh, 100 points to get the cash shop currency. So we're going to keep it moving. We're going to jump over here into the dimension. Um, that way we can get a little bit more combat in this video as well. This is also co-op. Um, couple different ways you can do this. So you can do this solo, which is what we're gonna be doing in this video, um, but you can also host a room where other people can join. And basically you can just leave your, you can just leave your game on and basically be in the queue to help other players. So you don't even have to be at your computer to join other people's co-op rooms to basically just kind of help them out, um, which is kind of a cool feature. Um, you guys know that I'm kind of, as of, as of 2020, <laughs> I don't want to say of 2019, because obviously my opinion has changed, but in 2020, I am anti-games that make you keep your computer on all day. I'm like, I'm totally anti on those. Um, so I don't think in 2020, it's going to have to be a really good game for me to play like another Destiny Child, I should say. I, I don't see myself playing another type of Destiny Child, Air of Light type game. What does that have to do with this FG? Nothing. You're right. <laughs> Back to Knights of Zodiac, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. And like I said, this is very co-op friendly. Easy, easy stuff there. Daily is done. Didn't even have to do it those two times there. Let me out. No, wait. There we go. All right. So that is that. And as you guys can see, um, as you defeat floors, you go up more and more powerful floors. The boss gets stronger and stronger. And of course, um, those bosses drop things. That'll help you get you um, some goodies to help power up your character. So once again, we're not going to do that one there. We'll go to the Trials of Athena real quick. This is going to be kind of like a tower mode here. Um, let's see. You can start with poison. I see, I see, I see. So far, I've been pretty strong versus these, but we'll see if I get embarrassed this time around. Easy claps. 
I don't know, this character right here, she's like an s rank character. She's the highest rarity character that I have on my squad, but she has like no HP. <laughs> and I have been like really trying to power her up. This guy right here with the little dragon, um, Hadouken, free character, you get him like really early on. He's a default Fortnite skin type of character, um, but he's actually really strong. And he pretty much carried us through that entire thing there. So shout out to him on that one. So just like in normal tower form, we're gonna keep continuing up this little tower here. This guy right here waiting on us, down you go. Do -do 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 -do. Move it on up, continue fighting. Um, but you only have to do at least one of those per day. Um, I think it's a five limit on that mode right there. Um, let's see, let's see. So I can't do any aid. I don't wanna do the other um, PVP things. Share the game, I can do that. Ha <laughs> ha, I tricked you. We ain't going to Facebook. <laughs> I think I tricked it, did I? I did. <laughs> <laughs> done and done. So that's all I had to do. Completely finished, my dailies are complete. Um, but like I kind of alluded to earlier, this game, and I, I covered this in my first impression, so if you wanna know more about the overall gameplay modes, what kind of goes into them, definitely check out my first impressions video. Um, but this is a game that's gonna be your main, main game. And I've said, that I've used kind of like that, that uh, uh, nomenclature before. Ooh, nice job, FG. Very, very good. Nice Monday word there. Um, that this game is a main, main game. Like this is the type of game that's gonna take up a lot of your time because there's so many gameplay modes, there's so many things to do. It's not like a side game. It's definitely not a side game. This is going to be your main game. Um, and I don't think that's a bad idea because um, I know I, we've already kind of talked about it not being super popular here in global. Oh, 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 oh. It's not being, it's not super popular here in global, but due to the fact that how extremely popular it is in China, I don't really have any concerns about this game ever shutting down um, based on like not having the funding because really they're, they're just bringing the things over from China and then just applying it to the global version. So it, you should be fine if you really do want to play this game. Um, you shouldn't have a problem. And due to the fact that the game is completely crossover for everything that matters, you should be okay. Finding people that play the game, etc., etc. Um, but definitely still play on the newer server, I would say. Oh, got ourselves an S ranked character there okay i'm more interested in this character that i just saw up here oh come on trying to give me a little 99 cent bundle to power that character up i see how this goes i like whoever this character is though more so and then we got another final nine and that is world quiz time <laughs> that is not something i'm gonna do and also i kind of feel like and once again i did not play this game at a hardcore level so take what i'm about to say with a grain of salt um, but when I see games that have like quizzes and things like that in them, it always makes me feel like like those games usually have what I like to call like content bloat. It's like, really, how much more content do we need in these games? Like mini games and quizzes and like like things like that. I feel like I, I just feel like it's too much a lot of the times. But once again, I don't know. This game maybe might be great. Uh, look at this. Hey, can I just copy people? Look at this. Look at the fact that. Hold on. <laughs> I always knew that answer. Yeah! <laughs> all right, so this quiz wasn't that bad. Forget literally everything I said. Um, that quiz was not bad at all. It's kind of funny that the game doesn't recognize this to be a word um, for the global... Oh, wow, that's a really quick quiz. Um, so I just answered that quiz mad fast, thanks to just copying everyone else. And then I got uh, a little bit of a... Got some, got some goodies there, some diamonds. Very nice. All right, guys. So uh, that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this was a look back at Saint Seiya Awakening, Knights of the Zodiac. Like I said, overall, pretty high quality title here with a ton of content modes. Um, a pretty good a character selection, but you know whether you like them or not, that's gonna be more subjective. And it does have a really good foundation in its China um, home country when it comes to bringing new content over here. So no, no fear if you wanna play this game, but do know that it's not super popular here in the States, but definitely healthy enough to uh, continue on. So there you go. I'm out. Thank you uh, so much for watching. Throw that in the pool, I guess. Hey, nice. And I will see you guys in the next video. Can I aid some people now? I can't aid anyone? I just did a bunch of rolls, man. I wanna help somebody. I got nothing. I got nothing. I, I got this guy, but I can't show you. That sucks. Oh well. That's gonna do it. Where's that new character that I got? I got two new S-Class. See, this is not, not really my type of art style. <laughs> not, not really for me. She looks kind of cool, though. I like her. 
Okay, never mind. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a really, really cool design there. So, hey, some really nice uh, characters here to, to look forward to. So, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG3000. I thank you uh, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, as you guys can see, I just leveled her up using some EXP juices. Use some fodder to increase her star level. Very, very easy. I like it when games allow you to get a character online relatively quickly. One thing I cannot stand is when a game, um, like a hero collector, you know, trying to be hero collecty, -y, releases new characters all the time, but they make it really hard to actually power up those characters to use. Like games that just kind of come, you know, top of mind, Marvel Strike Force, for example always releasing new characters, but it's like nearly impossible to power up the characters that, re that they released last month. This one didn't seem so bad. Um, getting off subject once again, though. My name is FG3000. You kind of want to use her in combat, don't you, FG? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> just, just a little bit, hold on. All right, let's go beat up on this person real quick. And we're gonna do a little swap here. I'm gonna take out the, the chick with no HP. Oh, she's not even, she's not even in this squad. And I'm still not level 18 yet. Um, let's take out main character, dude. Get out of here, dude. How do I, how do I get you out of here? Get, get, up. Hold on, I got a better idea. There we go. Look at her cool cape. That's actually pretty awesome. It reminds me of a chick from the World of Warcraft, whose name I can't remember at the moment. Wanna see her at? Wanna see her go? Ah. <laughs> see, he's like so good. That rising dragon punch, AoE, solid damage. He's just like one of the best characters. For for newbie accounts. Let me like I don't want to get attacked by anybody. <laughs> for my account as it stands right now, he seems like such a good character. Like he's easily doing the most work. Got a cutie over here. So some of these characters do look quite different than the rest of them. GG. Not not super impressive in combat, but there you go. I am finally out this time for sure, for sure. I will see you guys in the next daily grind review. Oh, look at this guy in this cool. He has like, oh, I thought those were braids. Those aren't braids. It's like a, like a kite. Like a kite or something. You got a whip chick. Got a whip chick right there. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm really done now. See ya.